Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to day 7 of the PrestaShop 101 series. So, unless we run a virtual product business, and well, that's actually the case of many shops, we need to set up shipping options so that our customers can choose the one that better fits their needs. So, it's quite easy actually to set up press, uh, shipping and carriers in PrestaShop However, it seems that it's also the point where most people get stuck because there are you know, quite a number of options that uh, have to be taken in consideration. And specifically, there are carriers, obviously, zones and countries. And to proceed from uh, either zones or countries usually means getting into trouble and bumping into no carriers, uh, no carrier is available message. So let's do it step by step, starting with carriers. First off, Click on shipping carriers and you can see Presser Shop already comes with two default carriers but we will create our own so from the top add a new carrier. Let's hit on add new carrier here and let's start with uh, by adding general settings. So carrier name Bolt for example. Transit time and oh uh, faster than you can tell. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Speed grade 9, which is the faster, goes from 0, which is the, uh, the slowest, to 9, which is the fastest. Uh, I will not add any logo. Tracking URL. This one um, is useful when you want your customers to be able to track their uh, parcels from their order history and uh, you can as you can read here uh, you have to type the tracking URL uh, that you can receive uh, from your carrier service then use add and that sign will be replaced with the actual code so I don't have any and I will leave this blank then hit next this second table is extremely important as we can set up for which zones the carrier is available and we will dive deeper into what zones are later in the video but right now uh, as you can see there are like you know macro areas where carriers are supposed to ship items and of course they can be expanded but we will see this later on let's go through the options first add handling cost um, it's possible to set up a default handling cost as you can read here in shipping preferences so you you can also set up uh, this carrier to use that fee uh, in addition to the range cost we will see in a while. Free shipping, of course, as the label suggests, um, will set this carrier as free. Then billing. It's possible to choose if we want to bill depending on the total price of the card, I mean the value of the card, or its weight. And this of course varies from carrier to carrier, so you have to get this information from your uh, shipping service. Uh, and the ranges tab below will of course change depending on which one you select. Unfortunately, for the time being, it's not currently possible to mix these two options. So we can only bill depending on price or weight. Tax. Well, uh, we can choose which one to apply here. Taking in consideration what we briefly mentioned in lesson with three about products, that is, um, taxes are applied to specific countries and zones too, so uh, it's important to have the matching, otherwise uh, if you enable this carrier for a zone uh, that is not the same one as the tax one, things will get really messy too. So uh, just pay attention to that. Again, we will see uh, taxes more in depth in the next video uh, when we will talk about taxes, tax rules and all those things. Ranges. This is the, probably the most important part. We need to set up at least one range in order for this carrier to appear. And so we need to set, in this case, we are billing according to a weight. Let's bill according to the price from zero to, for example, ten dollars. And uh, I will check all zones and set a twelve dollars fee for all zones. This means that regardless. Uh, of the active country the customer is from, uh, it will have access to this carrier. Okay, so uh, let's add a new range as well. And uh, this will be valid from $10.0001, for example, to um, 10,000 or 100,000. And uh, in this case, um, I used a, a really high value so it covers everything that goes 
uh, above $10, but uh, pay attention of the out of range behavior here. If I were to set $10 to $20 and disable carriers, the carrier for the out of range behavior, this carrier would have not been available for people uh, buying items over $20. So if you set this to $10 to $20, for example, make sure if you want this carrier to be always available after uh, over sorry a certain amount to apply the cost of the highest defined range and i will set it to 24 bucks for example again all of the zones are available so let's hit next now in this next section we can define the maximum dimensions we want this carrier to allow so if the purchased items exceed this value the carrier will obviously be disabled and they can be set up in the in each product page shipping tab so let's see uh, Kellogg products let's click on a product and shipping so as you can see package width height depth and weight which are the ones we saw here right as maximum and uh, also additional shipping fees for a single item this is really useful if you're uh, billing by, uh, for example, basing on the price or weight, but you want this specific item to have an additional cost for any reason because it's uh, really cost your uh, weights a lot. So in this case, you can set up a specific fee to add to that carrier cost for this specific item when this item is purchased. And also, it's possible to choose a specific carrier for this um, product. So if you select any of these carriers, which are the ones available now, and add them to the selected carriers box, only those ones in the selected carriers box will be available when you check out using this product. Okay, now that we know this, let's go back here. And we are okay with these options, so let's hit next. To reach the summary tab, let's quickly check this. Can deliver order from 020. And yeah, we'll be available with uh, for the out of range behavior as well. Let's see if it works. Okay, finish. Let's test it out. Now, I intentionally set the store up so uh, we get uh, an error or mismatch. Uh, and you know what's going on in case you encounter the same issue. Right now, if I check out with my where is it, my French slash USA customer, you can see free shipping here in the summary uh, in the cart summary page why well let's click proceed to the checkout you can see the address is United States proceed to the checkout mm, I'm asked to modify my address why is that well yeah it's a bit confusing as there is no mention of this elsewhere in the front office but this happens uh, just uh, it only happens actually in the most recent versions of Presto Shop. Uh, it happens because our store is not currently supporting France or USA as country and these are the only two countries this customer has addresses for. So as we want to do it, let's go back to the admin panel, localization countries and here you can find a list of all countries installed in your shop and uh, I think there are basically all countries of the world, so it's usually not necessary to add new ones. As you can see, the only active one here is Denmark, but uh, we need others. We need France or, uh, for the time being, we need France or United States, States as this customer only has a French or USA address. Let's enable, for example, United States. And then check again the front office. Let's go back and proceed to the checkout. Right, okay, we can choose this address, proceed, and there is our carrier, Bolt. And you can see that the highest price uh, of our uh, shipping range is being applied. Okay, so let's now uh, go back one step and have a look at this address. There are some info here and they're usually enough, but sometimes it might be necessary to display others, like, uh, for example, the customer's birth date, for some reason. Well, yeah, clients might not need 
uh, this information, this information in the summary here. But they can be valuable pieces of uh, info for you in invoices and uh, in the order back office. PrestaShop allows us to change the displayed fields specifically for each country. Let's see how in the back office, again, the countries list, let's edit North America. Uh, sorry, United States. North America is the zone. The first fields here can generally be left untouched as they are usually correct. Uh, you can see the zone here, as I mentioned, North America zip format, if you need the zip. Uh, or parcel code to be uh, entered. And then the important part is this address format. As you can see, it uh, it's the same as we can notice here in the front office. So how can we add other fields? Well, simply scrub through these ones we have here. And uh, if we need any other piece of information, for example, birthday, just you can you know click on this. But before doing that, it's better to space out fields by you know uh, hitting enter or space and it will be added as I did now um, let's save and, and see if it works so order refresh yep you can see it's being added but of course we can also get rid of non-important or non-valuable pieces of information so if you don't want a company just you know get rid of this and again save Go back and refresh and this will be shown equally in the order panel and invoice as well just uh some other mentions uh, about uh, these other options of course if this country is active or not if it contains states if you need a text number and if you want to display the tax label we don't want to edit any of these so i will just go back for now so i mentioned states and despite the name they are not uh, you know, only use um, for federal countries like as we saw United States, but they also act as regions or areas within countries themselves. And here as well, PrestaShop provides enough base information about most of the countries you usually need to select state for. Still, if you need more, there are two different approaches uh, that can be taken. First, uh, we can try going to localization, localization and try importing states using localization packs. By just you know, unchecking this, selecting this, the, the country you need states for, and try importing. However, I noticed so far that PrestaShop already comes with all states you can import. So you probably won't go any farther this way, but you know, it's already worth giving it a try as packs are constantly updated. Therefore, the manual way simply consists in reaching the states panel here localization states and clicking at new state notice that you might need the region or state iso code here um i'm not really into that so uh i'm not sure you can find them on google or whatever if you have if you have any you can also you know prefix them uh with a country iso code as uh Presta shop suggests here. It's, however, important to notice that um, you have to select the correct country and zone. And with this, I mean the country you select must be in the same zone you set up here. Otherwise, if there is a country zone mismatch, uh, people will not be able to check out and generate confusion and problems. So zones, yes, what are they exactly? As I briefly mentioned uh, a while ago, they can be considered macro areas that contain countries that eventually contain states and so on. Uh, and they're used for shipping purposes, as we saw. There is not much to set up about zones, actually. So if you need a new specific shipping area, just uh, zones, here localization zones and click add new and you know just enter the name my specific zone set it to active if you need it of course and save of course make sure the zones are enabled otherwise people from countries of those zones will not again be able to check out and um, 
they were uh, they will be shown the uh, not valid address error or the carrier uh, not available carrier error. Presto shops a bit buggy some, sometimes on this, so pay attention to zones every every time really. Now before concluding today's video, I like to briefly mention free shipping and there are multiple ways to set it up including the use of vouchers but since vouchers uh, also known as card rules are not subject of today's video let's see how to do it without first we can set up a global free shipping threshold when card hide items have a, uh, a value or weight uh, over a certain amount so i can do that uh, by going to shipping preferences and you can see free shipping start at, starts at zero dollars, zero uh, pounds. And if I set it, for example, how much do I have here? Let's see. I have 28 bucks, uh, sorry, 26. So if I set 20, all carriers, all carriers will have free shipping because we're uh, buying above 20 bucks, as you can see. But we don't want this. We don't want this to be applied to all carriers. We only want this to be applied to our bulk carrier. We want our bulk carrier to be free if somebody buys over 20 bucks. How can we do this? Well, back to the carriers, bulk, we can go to the shipping locations and costs and we can set up a zero fee for, uh, for example, our North America if it's over 10 bucks. So I will save this finish let's see if it got saved okay it says too because uh, our uh, deliver next day is selected but if I go through the checkout you can see bold is now free so yeah it's a bit of a raw trick trick perhaps but uh, it works so uh, you can use this to make your um, carriers free Okay, I think this is everything for today's video. In next lesson, as I mentioned, we will talk about uh, taxes and tax rules in Presto Shop, which is yet another pretty complicated topic. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.